Billie Eilish, has been identified by mainstream media as the future of pop. Her video, Bury a Friend, is a disturbing mix of mind control trauma and demonic possession. Here's a look at the dark world of Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is a 18-year-old singer who is quickly becoming an industry darling. After signing with Interscope Records in 2016, her debut single, Ocean Eyes, became a viral hit, and her debut extended play has now clocked over 1.5 billion streams worldwide. Since then, Apple Music, named Eilish an Up Next singer, a big deal in the industry, Forbes identified Billie as the artist to watch in 2019, and NME claimed that she's the most talked about teen on the world. Adding to the buzz, Billy was featured on both official soundtracks of Netflix's American teen drama, entitled, 13 Reasons Why. She also appeared in countless magazines, and she's already modeling for all kinds of fashion projects. In short, the promotional machine is well in place for the release of her debut album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? However, some fans have noticed that, as Billy entered deeper in the music industry, her entire persona became darker. While her bored, dead-eyed, depressed teenager persona made her popular amongst young people, her videos steered towards all-out depictions of abuse and trauma-based mind control. Her 2019 single, Bury a Friend, is yet another step in that direction, as it embodies all of the sick obsessions of the industry elite. Before we look at the video, here's a recap of Billie Eilish's career before that video was released. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Not unlike other artists who entered the industry at a young age, Billie Eilish's family is well established in show business. Her parents, and actors, musicians and screenwriters, Maggie Baird and Patrick O'Connell, both appeared in several movies and TV series. Her older brother, Phineas O'Connell, had roles in the series, entitled, Glee and Modern Family. He also writes many of Billy's songs. This photo shows Billy and her family looking very cool. After signing with Interscope Records, Billy's career took off, and an entire persona was crafted around her. To make it, you have to push the agenda. Eleven years ago, Interscope artist, Lady Gaga, was all about monarch mind control imagery. Now it is Billie Eilish's turn. But worse. The name of Billie's 2018 tour was, Where's My Mind? That's the kind of thing a dissociated MK slave would say. This picture, shows Billie's massive fashion photo shoot for Garage magazine, depicts her with three faces, the middle being robotic. An apt way, of depicting the multiple alter personas of an MK slave. The music videos, leading up to Bury a Friend, are simple, yet extremely symbolic. Put together, they tell the story of a young girl, entering a dark repressive world. In the video, entitled, Lovely, Billy and Khalid, another young industry darling, walk around like lifeless armies, inside a glass box, wearing chains. In short. Two young artists under industry control. At the end of the video, Billy hides one of Khalid's eyes, while he opens one of hers. The one eye signs equals being an industry slave. In her song, entitled, When the Party's Over, Billy sits in front of a glass of black liquid, still wearing her trademark chains. After downing the entire glass, Billy immediately begins gagging, and black liquids start gushing out of her eyes. It's difficult to watch. Does the black liquid she ingested represent toxic industry she's entering? The next video, entitled, You Should See Me in a Crown, goes even deeper in trauma territory. Billy wears an ironic crown, the kind of crowns given to slaves to ridicule them. Real actual spiders are crawling all over her. At one point, a big hairy tarantula crawls out of her mouth. There was no CGI involved there. Viewers are watching snuff trauma. Needless to say, these scenes are many people's worst nightmares as they play on our natural, instinctive revulsion of specific things. For this exact reason, spiders are used in actual MK programming to cause trauma and dissociation. One thing discovered by research into the genetic transmission of learned knowledge by humans to their children was that people are born with certain fears. Snakes, blood, seeing internal body parts, and spiders are all things that people are born fearing. The phobias toward these things are passed down genetically from one generation to another. In searching for traumas to apply to little children, the programmers found that these natural phobias which occur in most people from birth will work wonderful to split the mind. Along this line, the following are samples of traumas done to program slaves. A. Being locked in a small confined spot, a pit or cage with spiders and snakes. 
b. Being forced to kill and cut up and eat innocent victims, c. Immersion into feces, urine and containers of blood. Then being made to eat these things. By the way, when the child is placed into a small box with spiders or snakes, they will often be told that if they play dead, the snake will not bite them. This carries out two things for the programmers, it lays the basis for suicide programs, and it teaches the child to dissociate. Traumas to split the mind are not just high voltage or natural phobias, but encompass the full range of the emotional and spiritual being of the victim. Most of the awful things described appear in Billy's videos. Confinement, ingesting poison, forced contact with repulsive insects, etc., bury a friend covers the rest. This is the cover art of the album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, which was released with the video Bury a Friend. The wide eyes symbolize a lack of soul and demon possession. Many young artists are portrayed with blank eyes, for examples, Poppy, Trippy Red, etc. The industry loves to portray their slaves that way. The videos leading to Bury a Friend depicted the trauma and breakdown of Billie Eilish. Bury a Friend portrays the final product. A demon-possessed yet utterly abused MK slave. The video begins with a guy sleeping and waking up in terror. Before he goes back to sleep, he says, Billy, as if it was the name of the demon he just saw. Billy then appears under the bed with all black eyes. She starts singing about horrific things. In an interview, Billy stated that the video has something to do with the concept of sleep paralysis. Most people who experience this phenomenon feel an evil presence around them. For this reason, it is often referred to as a demon in the bedroom. In Bury a Friend, Billy is the demon. As she walks in the hallway, Billy's feet contort in all kinds of unnatural ways, again, implying demon possession. Then, an unseen force takes control of Billy. Hands come out of nowhere and start manhandling Billy. The hands represent MK handlers, those who drug, abuse, traumatize and program MK slaves. Coincidentally enough, all of these horrible things happen in the video. The hands forcefully take Billy from one place to another. Here, she's in a dark room, looking completely out of it, as the hands simulate abuse and strangulation. As this is happening, Billy sings about a series of traumatizing things. Step on the glass, staple your tongue. Bury a friend, try to wake up. Cannibal class, killing the sun. Bury a friend, I wanna end me. All of these things are used to traumatize slaves. Bury a friend is the final blood sacrifice. The hands tear out Billy's clothes, who is a minor. One cannot ignore the subtext of sexual abuse happening here, a staple in trauma-based mind control. The hand stab Billy's back with a bunch of needles. Then, they push in something vile in her bloodstream. At this point, it is difficult not to see the mind control theme of this video. In actual MK programming, needles are used to cause pain, trauma, and to inject drugs and poisons. The handlers violently grab Billy's hair and lift up her head up. Again, her eyes change color and she's completely out of it. Mind control. At this point, she sings. I wanna end me. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. End me. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. MK slaves are tempted to kill themselves in order to end their suffering. However, they cannot because they lost control of their body and free will. The second verse of the song explains that she's dealing with an entity that can help her become a star. However, there's a cost. Keep you in the dark, what did you expected? Me to make you my art and make you a star and get you connected. I'll meet you in the park, I'll be calm and collected. But we knew right from the start that you'd fall apart. Cause I'm too expensive. The bridge of the song sums up the true meaning of the song. For the dead I owe, gotta sell my soul. Cause I can't say no, no, I can't say no. Then my limbs all froze and my eyes won't close. And I can't say no, I can't say no. It is about selling her soul to the industry and becoming part of its MK system. As she sings these upsetting words, Billy, with blackened eyes, levitates and spins around, again, implying demon possession. Demonology and satanic rituals are an important part of MK programming. As if to confirm everything, Billy is seen in an extremely symbolic pose. This specific pose has been known for centuries. Some call it, the Arch of Hysteria. This is a depiction of the Arch of Hysteria, by 19th century neurologist, Jean Martin Charcot. The book describes hysteria as psychological disturbances that manifest themselves as neurological symptoms. For centuries, the arch of hysteria has been associated with demon possession. The poster of The Last Exorcism featuring a similar pose. Probably for this reason, the arch of hysteria is extremely important in occult elite symbolism. 
Tony Podesta, has the sculpture Arch of Hysteria by Louise Bourgeois, hanging in his house. At the end of the video, Billy disappears from under the guy's bed. Think this was creepy. There might be even more to this. What does Billy actually mean by bury a friend? Some believe that it is a reference to the death of XXX Tentation. This photo shows Billy and X were close friends. After X's death, she released a song, titled 6, 18, 18. The date of his death. The rapper was getting involved with the darker side of the industry. Also, he was obsessed with the number 666. Oddly enough, in Kabbalistic numerology, the date of death is translated to 6, 6 plus 6 plus 6, 6 plus 6 plus 6. Is the guy sleeping in Billy's video meant to represent X? Considering the fact that Bury a Friend combines the concepts of selling one soul, owing a debt with a whole lot of evil stuff, one question needs to be asked. Was X the blood sacrifice required for Billy's big break in show business? Mainstream media tagged Billie Eilish as the future of pop. And, as you just saw, everything about her reeks of industry toxicity. While she is praised for her originality, she is also yet another young artist who is going for the soulless, depressed, suicidal, satanic, mind-controlled zombie persona. The video Bury a Friend sums up everything that is foul with the music industry. It depicts the abuse of a young girl at the hands of unseen people as she turns into an evil possessed demon. It encompasses all of the sick obsessions of the occult elite and crams them into the music video that is meant to be viewed by millions of teenagers. Since she's the perfect vessel to push the industry's agenda, her career is taking off and she will get a whole lot of exposure. Is it worth it? Well, in Billy's own words. For the debt I owe, gotta sell my soul. Cause I can't say no, no, I can't say no. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.